members. Right. So GitHub is a, what is GitHub? See, initially while creating the code, let's say a team working on a project, whatever the code implemented by the team members initially will be available in the local missions. Say 10 people working on this project, 10 people preparing different, different automation test cases for the same project, initially code available in the local missions. Finally, the code need to be available in a centralized location. That centralized location, cloud location, nothing but github.com. If I am the project admin, maybe a lead level person, will create a repository in the GitHub, invite the team members to connect with this project. I'll create a repository to manage the automation test case related code in the github.com. I invite my team members to collaborate with this project, access this project by they say option called invite the team members by giving the team members GitHub account or email ID used to create the GitHub account. I can invite the team members. They will, they can able to connect with the GitHub project. Whatever the code they have created, they push, uh, they upload into the github.com. Supposing I created app utils, I'll upload my app utils into github.com. You created Excel utils, you upload into Excel utils into github.com. Other team members can able to download and use this code and whatever the code they have created will be uploaded into the github.com. The major advantage is every day whatever the code created by the team members is getting uploaded into the cloud repository, we'll be having a safe backup copy in the cloud repository. Though something is lost in the local mission, no worries, we have a backup copy in the cloud repository. It's one advantage. The team members can share the code among the, while working on the project, team members can able to share the code because whatever I created, I am uploading into GitHub, you can able to access this code. The code you created, you are uploading to GitHub, I can able to download and you make use of your code. So finally, there are, there are many advantages with the github.com, hence in the real time. So every project, generally people will use github.com to manage the code in the centralized location that is GitHub. So let us explore how the team members will make use of the github.com while working on the project. I ask few people to create the GitHub account created. Yes, sir, created. Right. Now first let me log in with my account. I log into my GitHub account. Earlier, while demo, I mean, for demonstrating GitHub to other batch students, I created many repositories here. First, I'll create a new repository. Here, my account name is, my email ID I used to create the account is freshbabu.qh. But my GitHub account name is demo git123 something. Inside one account, you can have multiple repositories. Now already I have created the project with the same name earlier. Oh, 
whatever hrms project code it is my repository name hrms project code we have public and private repositories public meaning anyone can access public repositories are free accounts anyone know the url of your repository can access your code but generally in real time we do not go we don't go with the public repository we have to go with the private repositories only the difference is public repository anybody can access free account private repositories are paid accounts if i select private in the next step it will ask the payment details i'm going with the public repository create a repository and this is your repository url anyone know this url can see your code it is our repository url git repository url when get enable chart for everybody the git repository url i given the zoom chart anybody share your screen and i given the git repository url the chart box you please try to open it first share your screen anyone and now you log out first you log out i given the repository url what i have created in the zoom chart uh, you connect with that url in the zoom chart box i given some url so as of now this repository was empty there is nothing available hrms project code is a repository i have created in github so as of now it's nothing is available it is showing that repository is empty stop screen sharing now was now once a repository is created by your project admin generally your team lead on the right side we have an option called settings the next step the project admin github admin will invite the team members to collaborate with this project the other team members here on the settings we have an option on the left collaborators as of now there are zero collaborators nobody have access to this project except the admin who created it here we have an option on the bottom of the window add people i can invite my team members to collaborate with this project i have to give the github user name or the email id used to create the github account i wanted two people email ids who created github account in chat yes online team two students who already created a github account 
Give your email ID used to create the GitHub account or your GitHub username in our Zoom chat so that I can invite the people to collaborate with this project. Yes, sir. I send them my email ID in the chat box. I didn't receive it. Oh, yes, yes. Vicky is your name. What's your name? Yes, sir. Okay. This is the email ID you used to create the GitHub account? Yes, sir. This is one, sir. I'm adding Vicky, one team member, to collaborate with this project. Still, it is pending. Vicky, you check your email, you receive a mail from me. Once you have accepted the invitation, you will become a collaborator for this project. Yes, sir, I got, sir. You accept the invitation. And another student, Swaroop. Swaroop, you also check, you receive a mail from me. You have to accept my invitation, then only you become a collaborator. Checking, sir. Sir, I accepted, sir. And uh, HRMS project code. Some URL is uh, soon. Yes, sir, I got it. Sir, I accept it. Hello, sir. Sir, we are unable to see your screen and uh, voice. Sir. Sir left the meeting, sir. I think there is. I'm continuing. I was disconnected just now. So you two people have accepted the invitation? Yes, sir. These are repository we have created, right? Yes. Previous it is a pending invite. As the team members are accepted the invitation, now they are official collaborators of this project. Done. Now, Let me explain how to make use of this github.com here. Sir, some of our team members are asking uh, invite the in the link, sir. They are also interesting to participate in this group. No, I uh, see. First, I'll teach the concept two members are enough. Okay. And later you can have a practice of the stuff. Okay. 
you are just you know i want to teach let's say two three people are working together either three people or 30 people the concept will be the same well here i am creating a actually not a code i can go with our actual workspace there are so many projects available in our workspace to avoid the little confusion i am creating a new workspace here the name git something whatever it may be there are no projects in the new workspace well <clears throat> See here what I want to do. What is the option available here? Open perspective. You know it is Java perspective. I have to open the Git perspective. We have an option in the middle here, open perspective. Alternatively, if you go to window, perspective, open perspective, it is Java perspective of the Eclipse. We have the other option here. Choose Git. In Eclipse, go to window. Here it is. Perspective, open perspective, other git perspective click ok button the first step here cloning a git repository what is the meaning of this clone a git repository copy is asking the repository url This repository URL we have to give. This is the repository URL, right? If you click on the project name, you get the URL here. I repeat, clone a Git repository. Already access now. HRMS project repository. My username and password something. What is cloning a repository? What is the meaning of cloning here? Whatever the Git project structure available will make a copy into your local system. The very first step cloning a Git repository. We have to go to Git perspective, clone Git repository. Next. In our C drive, Whatever the Git project structure available in the cloud, a copy will be taken into your local machine. We'll show you. In our C drive, users, your user name, your user name, you'll find a folder called Git. You see the date and time. Just now this was created. It's my old one. I remove this. Whatever the Git cloud structure available, the copy will be taken. Do not worry about these technicals. First, you need to clone a Git repository. Then, go to Java perspective. Create a new Java project. Java project or Maven project that is your choice. Give some name. RNHRM. Your repository name can be different. Your Java project name can be different. OHRM. Finish. Now,
Here, let's say I'm creating a package with the name test cases. I'm not writing any original code. I'm creating a class test case one. Assumption, I'm one of the team member. I'm creating my first test case here. Just I'm increasing the font size, that's it. Let's say this is the first such case I have created. Some code, whatever it may be, this is test case one. I saved it. Where as of now my test case available? Where this code available as of now? Only in my mission, correct? So what I have to do, I need to upload this code into the Git repository. So what I will do, I right click on my project. We see an option here, team. Share the project with my team members. Git local project it is. Then, this I want to upload into the Git repository. Right click on your project, team, you have an option here, commit. After sharing only, you see all these options. After sharing your project only, you see all of this option, commit. Commit message. First commit, first time I'm uploading into GitHub. Test case one, I'm adding into github.com. Just a comment it is, that's it. Commit message. What actually you uploaded to understand that, we can give a commit message. First commit, test case one added. All these files I would like to upload into GitHub. I can select one by one or you have check all together. Commit and push. Commit will save in the local repository first, in the local git. Push will upload from local git to the cloud git. Commit will save in the local git. Push will upload the code from the local git to the cloud git. Save, then push. Save in local git, then push. Next. You have to give your username and password. My username I have shown you, demo git one to three. I have to give my password. I'll explain the concept of the token. I give my password, click OK. It's not allowing. I give one correct password only. I'll tell you, for every Git account for second level of security, you need to create a token. Second level of permission, you know, generally when you try to log into your Gmail also, you receive a code or something like that, second level of security, like in github.com, second level of security is called token actually. Every user need to create a token. How? If I go to my profile, profile settings, not your project settings, every user need to create a token, go to your profile settings, 
on the left bottom last option you see developer settings personal access tokens you can generate a new token some name my git token something some name for the token expiry 30 days next 30 days i can make use of this token i am selecting all the permissions required for that token sometimes i can pass my token to other team members with limited permissions to my repository i am giving all of these permissions next 30 days this token will work generate the token these are token generated will copy this actually previous it is my token it is expired after 30 days almost is a old token 30 days only maximum duration it is my new token generally we save it for further reference this user name demo git 123 is my user account the token i have given store in secure okay finish now the code will be uploaded into git repository the test case one what i have created uploaded into git repository anyone uh, share your screen and access the same repository what i have given in the zoom chat i have i created a test case one which is available in my local mission which i have uploaded into github.com now so anybody please share your screen quick i already given the our zoom i mean sorry our git repository url in the zoom access that url okay listen please observe here everybody the code i have created test case one is uploaded into github.com you click on the folder ohrm test cases test cases second folder you see the test case one i have created open that this is the code i have created now the code available in my local mission also available in the cloud repository that is github.com okay now swaru see here swaru is the other team member working on the same project he need to have access this project code swaru go to eclipse go to eclipse okay close this maven pom.xml listen see 10 people working on this project say will everybody start creating a new project in the eclipse every time i created a project i created one test case or even without test creating test case also the project what i have created i can push into the github.com i did it i uploaded into github.com now swarup is my other team member working on the same project every team member no need to create a project in the eclipse again because already the project structure is available in the github.com now what other team members will do as far as go to file file in the eclipse you have a option here import see earlier you you are importing the project what i have given in the lms correct you are extracting the files into your local system you are importing it now swarup or other team member need to import the project available in the github.com after selecting import project we have a option git expand the option 
projects available in the gate select it next clone the url you don't have local repository created correct other team members not have created any local repository now clone the url next see already he log in actually farooq already log in the active project is hrms project code hence it is automatically taking otherwise if not log in you have to give the url project repository url the git repository url sorry uh, give your user name username and you also have to create a token i created a token right like every team member need to maintain a token go to github.com go to your personal settings profile settings on the top settings I'm not here not here you select a profile there is a option on the bottom settings on the left go to the very last option developer settings personal access tokens generate a new token you give your password to continue give a token name for example my git token something whatever git token any name right that it is select all the permissions generate the token you can copy this token somewhere in the notepad for for the reference right go back to the eclipse give the token you have generated store in secure so that every time you no need to supply this token you have a checkbox below the authentication store in secure store next time it don't ask you about the git token something next 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 a master password was created in eclipse secure storage if you ever need to recover your password you need a password hint do you want to provide a password hint no next finish you see now you got the project from the github.com what are the code i have created open the code this is how you can able to import the project available in the github.com understood as far as soft skin sharing some other student uh, the name wiki share your screen wiki share your screen you are not available any other student quickly uh, give your uh, github account in zoom chat anyone please share your github account or email id in the zoom chat
ഓക്കെ ലിവിറ്റ് മീ ആൻഡ് സ്വരൂപ് ദ ഓൺലി ടു ടു മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഹിയർ ഐ ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് എ കോ ഹി ഏബിൾ ടു ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ഇറ്റ് കറക്റ്റ് വെൽ നൗ സ്വരൂപ് ശരി ഓർ സ്ക്രീൻ Ajam Shri as Parupi, the other team member, created one more test case on the project. In the same manner, some sample code you implement test case to. Test case to. You prepare some dummy code, like this is test case to something. Now you write system.out.println This is test case 2 I'll save the code Where test case 2 available at present? Where is the test case 2 code available at present? Only in the Swaroop mission, correct? Is it available in my mission? No. Is it available in cloud gate? No. As of now, test case 2 available only in the second team member mission. You please observe here. Everybody, please observe here. Test case 1, there is a gold color repository symbol, right? It indicates that test case 1 available in the gate. Second test case, there is no repository symbol. It is not available in the gate. Swaroop, what do you have to do now? What Swaroop has to do now? He need to push the code into the github.com, correct? How to push the second test case? Right click on the second test case. Only second test case you want to push, remaining already available. Right click on the second test case. Go to team, team, select the option commit, click OK, give some commit message, first give some commit message, say second commit something, or this is second test case. A second commit, uh, one second. Test case 2 added. Enough. Test case 2 is added. Select the test case you would like to push. Click commit and push. Commit will save in the local git first. Commit will save in the local git. Push will upload from the local to the cloud. Okay to continue. Now you please observe second test case. You got the git repository icon. Meaning now second test case also available in the github.com. Swarup, show me the github.com repository. Go to the project code actually. No, you click back. No, you are refreshing the settings. You do one thing. On the right side, you have the option, right? Profile. Before that, before that, your repositories, you have an option. Okay, you, no, 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 you are accessing this, uh, your account repository, Farooq. I given the URL in the Zoom chart, right? You open that URL. Yes. You 
you have the access to this database. Open the project. Test case two. Now two test cases. I created one test case, uploaded into Git. Other team member created test case to upload into Git. The other team member able to import it. Okay, now. Do you have test case to in my mission? Sarup, stop screen sharing. Do you have second test case in my local mission? I have only test case one. But my other team member created one more test case for the same project. I wanted it. I wanted it in my local environment. Tell me what I have to do. Hmm? I have to import, sir, I think. Imp I mean, you want me to import the new project every time? No, no. First time only, very first time only, you need to import a project. Thereafter, push and pull. What is push? Push. Uploading the code into Git is push. Accessing, I mean, downloading the code available in the Git into the local project is pull. I want to pull the second test case available in the github.com into my local environment. Only one time you import the project. Thereafter, only push and pull. Rightly, team, here I have an option called pull. You see what happens. I'm able to import the code available in the Git into my local mission. Till now understood? If I have one more team member, I can repeat it again, but nobody is responding for the question. Anyone can share your email ID or GitHub account. Now, same topic only, I again one more time repeat. What is this Nawaz? At the rate Nawaz, what is this? I think it's username. I not I think, leave it. I do not want to waste my time. It's not the username. How a username can start with at the rate? Not at all possible. Any other team member, share your email ID or username? Sir, I will share my email ID. Then why you given this email ID? Quick. Email ID meaning I said, the email ID you use to create your Git account. Not other email IDs. The email ID you use to create the Git account only allowed. Now I want to invite the other team members for this project. In the search option directly we can select here. Settings. Collaborators. I'm inviting another team member. Done. Uh, Nawaz, you accept the invitation. Yes, sir. One moment. Did you accept the invitation? No. You receive an email, invitation link, you need to accept it. So it is not asking me to accept it, it is just a uh, view invitation is displaying. In the same description, there will be a small link called accept. Check. Yeah, it is there, sir. Accept it. So it is going to sign in page, redirecting to. Okay, log in with your account.
Share your screen. Now later you can do it. One moment. Stop screen sharing now. Watch. I'm inviting other team member. Hima. Hima, I invited you. Accept the invitation. just i want to repeat you know the previous step importing and all actually the two team members is enough to understand but let's have a small quick revision on the same what i have demonstrated previously think it invitation uh, did you receive it no no whatever the email id you have given my dad you receive a mail invitation mail to the email id you have given to me okay yeah accept it in the description in the middle there will be one small link called accept link check and please share your screen now every sorry i didn't get not it one minute blog them report no if you share your skin i'll guide you don't worry scan any confusion no sir okay anyhow you need to import the project and in the eclipse share your screen yes uh, you accepted the invitation yes sir okay so you are able to see this code right yeah okay then here everybody try to understand that hima is another team member working on the same project Uh, you minimize this window him and uh, go to eclipse okay uh, all right uh, close all the yes uh, all the right side windows you have a option to close all right click right any right click any area somewhere in the window no 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 one second one second on the top i i'm just explaining one option uh, you move the form mouse over the functional library okay then leave it leave it you minimize uh, all these uh, projects in the left side okay sir yes well here hima is another team member working on the same project already the some project code is available in the github.com first time hima is joining and working on this project what she has to do now yes hima you tell me what you have to do now how to export uh export the, to? clone the project from the github no no see first time i did it yeah. remaining every team member no need to create a project no need to clone and nothing first you need to import the project available at the github.com correct 
yes. already the project available in the gate you are also working on the same project already project available what i did i created a new one now the project is already available in the gate directly you can able to import the project from the git into your local environment go to import option yes select the git expand the git project from git click next to continue clone the url next you have to give the url not local file url git repository url Uh, one second if you click on the project name you get the url you click on the project name no no on the top on the top demo git 123 yes did you click it did you click yes. it okay no sir one second no worries no worries don't worry somewhere you see the url <laughs> one second <laughs> you code we have some option right code on the right on the right side we have code some option right in the green color before the above yes yes you just uh, right here you have the url copy the url now go to your eclipse Give that URL. Your username. Did you create a token? No, sir. You need to create a token. Okay. My username. Okay. First, you create a token. Your username is that. That is appearing there. Hima Bindu. No, 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 not like that. It's a case sensitive. You go back, go back. You go back to Git. It is showing your username here. Him have been Kodigari something, right? That you have to copy and paste. Now you need to generate a token. That token you have to give here. we already seen how to generate a token go to git generate your token in your profile last you have a option called settings on the left you have last option developer settings personal access tokens generate a new token give some name my token something my git token something select all the privileges permissions where are you from yes sir around uh, 44 okay well around 1146 okay then good uh, copy this token yes give the password next yes next uh, next next no but no it is asking just to hint for a password to recover not required no next finish see so you got the project from the github.com expand it you see the two test cases available here yes right right now you write a new test case yes, sir inside test cases package you create a test case say for example test case 3 okay sir just we are understanding how the team members will you know Share the code among the team from the gate. Test case three. 
create some sample code like this is test case or something. Now system is capital letter. Semicolon. Save it. And now as of now, where is the test case three? Only in the Hima Hima environment. Hima. Hima. Correct? Yeah. It is not available in Git, even it's not available in my other people local mission. Hima, you answer me what you have to do now immediately. We have to push the test case into Git. Perfect. Do it. Perfect. One moment, one moment. You have selected. Only you can see remaining everything available. Only test case three you are pushing, right? Yes. Select the right click on test case 3. Team. Yeah. Team. Team. You have an option on the top commit. Click OK. Give a commit message like, I mean, uh, commit 3 something, third commit something, or test case 3 added. Test case 3 added. Test case 3. Added by by your name. Yes, select the test case. On the bottom, you need to select the test case, commit and push. Commit and push. Okay. Right click. Select it. Yes, click yes button, enough. Click on commit and push, uh, open git staging, open git staging on the bottom. You maximize it, I mean little dark to middle. Yes, the window, just make it bigger little, yes, yes. If anything is here. Okay, there's nothing, enough, I'm not required, close it. And see it is already the test case also uploaded into the GitHub, it is showing the repository symbol here. And stop screen sharing, good job. There is no... That's what you have used only commit. Commit will no. save in the local mission. That need to be pushed into the github.com. Commit and push we have to use, but you have clicked down only on commit, right? Yes. Okay. Share your screen again. Commit will save in the local local git. Push will upload from local git to the cloud. Share your screen again. Okay. You right click on the test case three. Commit. Click yes. Just this one. Click commit and push. Okay. Now stop screen sharing. I just refresh it. Now we have the test case three here. Okay, three test cases are available in github.com. But in my environment, I have only two test cases. In Swaroop environment also, only two test cases. I wanted this test case three into my local environment. What I have to do? Right click on your project, go to team, pull. Here I got the test case three. 
सौरभ शेर यू स्क्रीन गो टू यूर एक्लिप्स यू ऑल्सो हैव टू टेस्ट केसेस वॉट यू हैव टू डू पुल यूज पुल ऑप्शन टेस्ट केस थ्री अवेलेबल इन द गिट हब विल कम टू यूर लोकल एनवायरमेंट सी हियर right stop screen sharing for you now say maybe in future i updated some code in my test case one old code i was updated maybe based on some requirement or whatever it may be test case one modified something like this some code was updated Where the updater code available? In the local. Only in my local environment, correct? What I have to do now? This I need to push into the Git team test case one updated. something like this commit and push not only in my mission in the git repository also it gets updated hima share your screen i go to your eclipse open the test case one Do we have the updated code here? In my environment, the code gets updated. Later, I upload into GitHub. dot com. What she has to do now? Again, pull. Right click on your project. Commit. Ah, uh, sorry. Team. Pull. Like this. Click OK. Like this. Whenever you use the pull option. Whatever the finalized code available in the GitHub. dot com will be taken into the local mission. So this is the practical usage of the GitHub. dot com. Hope you understood it. Yes, sir. Yes, many people understood. So first time generally everybody no need to clone a repository. What I did. only the first person who is initiating creating a project i created i clone a repository clone repository i created a java project now without even having one test case also i can push my code into the github dot com only project structure i created utils or in hrm dot library or in hrm dot test case only the project structure that been created Your senior person will create a project structure, not even test cases. Upload into GitHub. dot com. What other nine team members will do? Other team members will do. Import the project available in the GitHub. dot com. They start creating the test cases. Nine people today they have implemented nine programs. What they have to do? All team members what they do? They push into the GitHub. dot com. What I will do? I'll pull. So entire code I will get. If I put any comments, any modification, again I push. The other people will pull. First time only the admin, Git admin will create a project, upload into GitHub. dot com. All remaining people will not create the project in the local environment. The ten people working. I do not permit all my team members to create the project structure. Project structure meaning the package names, utils, are in his charm. dot test cases. Or in his charm. dot library, the structure I will create, I will upload into GitHub. dot com. Sarup created one test case, Hima created one test case. They upload into GitHub. dot com. Now all team members, what we can do, including the project lead, just we use the pull option. I feel some changes need to be done. I done. I do the changes again. I push. Remaining people will pull. Only project admin will create a project. Push. remaining people will import it thereafter push and pull push what is push option here uploading the code from the local environment to the git repository what is push 
downloading the code available in the git repository to the local machine so this is a practical usage of the github.com hope you clear about this so generally when you are pushing or pulling it will ask your username and password password here it is password meaning the token you need to generate a token the token you have to supply this token will expire for after 30 days again after 30 days you need to generate a new token and continue right so take the next topic jenkins jenkins sir, yes sir if any uh, like a uh, any tester or developer if in that uh, program if any changes then hmm. team need how to approach and uh, he, what he do team lead he i will not ask any team members whatever the code upload in the github.com is the finalized code i am going to review the code right yes sir i have access to the entire code available in the github.com right i verify the code but if sir, i feel in that, sir in that some any changes like uh, mm. uh, like uh, our swarup is there sir in mm. the, uh, what uh, swarup is uh, uh, created the program in that mm. some uh, some um, changes Hmm. Uh, that uh, changes uh, identity by uh, team lead. So team lead particularly, Swarup, you can change in this place. You can hmm. change how it will uh, do in real time, sir. At me, I, I, it means I uh, asking. That's what I said. Was he clear? That is what I have demonstrated you. Test case one I have created first. Later, what I did, I modified it. Then what I am doing, pushing. my lead asked me fresh you need to add this kind of code i added and i uploaded it that's it no i modified the test case one right you have observed that ha uh ha -huh. initially some code is available what i did later i modified it after modification what i did i pushed the code again into the github when the remaining people use the pull option the modified code will get into the local environment But in that uh, uh, GitHub area, so many uh, hmm. like uh, we have messaging that. options. We have yes. messaging hmm. option. We have mail option, comment options. All options are available in GitHub. dot com in paid account. Okay. Sir. We have comment option. We have message option. There are so many options available. It's a web system, right? Comments available, messaging available. we have so many multiple options here actually and you know through mailing also we can communicate the test case re i am monitoring created by the hima i want to give some comments to my team member hima no modify something like this something like that so what i can do actually in the paid version will have some options here messaging something even like you know google we have chat option in the google right once you connected with the gmail account the team members will be visible on the google chat right the same way we have the options here Here I can leave your comment here. Add following condition, following code, or something. I can, I can give some comment here. I can give some comment. It's a kind of like an email. The comment will be sent to the author who created this code. right so for today i stop here better i mean freshly tomorrow i'll discuss about the jenkins topic 
Jenkins is not any, you know, Jenkins is used for scheduling the build execution. I configure the location where is my code available. Jenkins will connect to the location where the code available, take the code, integrate the code, and execute the test case on the modified version. It's a kind of a build execution tool. Continuous integration. All programs uploaded by the team members into the central repository GitHub will be collected, integrated, executed on the modified version. Instantly you can execute or you can schedule by what time the test cases need to be run. So whenever the time received, automatically Jenkins will trigger and execute the automation test cases. Tomorrow we'll see the practical usage of the Jenkins. So this is our last topic in our Selenium training. Okay, right. Then the next two sessions, Friday and uh, Saturday, did I teach SQL to you? A select command at least I teach you. In the manual testing, I, I explained, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, then I forgot. I thought I have not teach. To start. Okay, uh, I mean, everything. after manual testing, I given select command to you, right? Yes, no, sir. only that is actually select command. I forgot. Uh, I thought I was not teach you. It's covered. Okay, then yes, we will. And then tomorrow we'll talk about the Jenkins. Okay. If needed, we'll have a quick revision on the entire selenium, what we have learned last 45 sessions. Okay. Thank you. We continue tomorrow. Thank you, online team. We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you, sir.